What's up, everybody? Patrick Bolanos here. I'm coming at you and want to record a video. And I was in the middle of listening to an audiobook. It's called Ready, Fire, Aim. I love to listen to audiobooks on my way uh, to work. And essentially, I'm still not done with the book yet, but he believes, the author believes, that there's four stages in businesses, um, depending on how much sales you have. If you're in the food truck industry, if you are on a journey to become a food truck owner, there's a lot of things you need to think about when starting the business, right? I'm sure everybody wants to be perfect when opening a new business. And analysis paralysis, right? So if you are paralyzed by all these thinking and all this checklist that you have to run through before you open, you're never, ever, ever going to get to the point where you're essentially open. And so the author believes the most important part of any business is sales. And I'm sure a lot of people believe that. It is um, pretty logical to think that the most important part of any business is sales. Sales cures all. You know, you've heard that phrase. And so we have a food truck group, right? With 25,000 plus members for newbies, veterans, etc. And looking back at all the questions people ask, it's always, how do I start my food truck? How do I get my permit? What kind of menu should I do? How do I get my food truck wrapped? But nobody ever asked, how do I generate more sales? How do I get people to know that we exist? How can I improve my social media? That question, for some reason, always is not at the forefront. And so, I'm going to be honest with you. When I started our business, we it was really tough to go change that mentality, make that switch inside my brain to say, okay, I'm going to start throwing money at this machine. I'm going to start throwing money at this social media machine or advertising. Whatever advertising avenue you choose, you just have to trust and have faith that if you do it right, you learn a bit, you're essentially going to start seeing results. And so I'm going to, this video is to focus on how to generate more sales. And I'm going, to gen, I'm going to talk to you from the point of view of what we've done to generate more sales from social media. Okay, we're going to start by showing people how to run ads on Facebook. Okay? Um, one of the most important things you can do in this day and age, one is start collecting data, emails, and phone numbers of your clients and of your potential clients, okay? There's certain ways you can do this. You can create a landing page, you can offer some free content, you can go out and offer a two for one coupon. So I'm gonna show you how you do this on Facebook and using a landing page. Really, really simple, okay? So you log into Facebook, right? When you log into Facebook, you wanna go into your ads manager. It's going to be in the main page on the left hand side right so this is my Facebook page and then if you go to see more right here under my name where it says friends news groups marketplace etc there's an ad center or ads manager you click on ads manager right and it'll take you to the ads manager where you manage all the ads that are being used on your Facebook account bear with me because it might get a little slow right so here we go don't be shocked and don't be scared from everything you see in the ads manager. Don't even pay attention to it. The first thing we're going to do is one, you want to make sure that the ads that you're making and the people that you're targeting, you're targeting with a scope. Meaning you don't want people in, let's say you're in Houston. I don't want people in Dallas to see my ads if my food truck is in downtown Houston. Okay. So we're going to go and create audiences. So we're going to go to the business home of the ads manager, right? My bad. 
Here we go. Go back to Ads Manager. There's the audiences, but I want to show you something because you can go from there. Um, don't mind all the scrolling around. So here we go. Why is it so slow? It's slow because I'm recording, that's why. But no worries. These are all our campaigns. Where is the rest of the stuff? Come on, dude. There we go. So these three lines right here. Boom. This gives you the tools that you have to start creating the content or the things that you want to create. So first, we're going to create an audience. These are all the audiences that we've created for our marketing campaigns. So you've got to create audience and you're going to create a saved audience. Okay, You can create custom audiences based on other profiles in Facebook, lookalike audiences based off lists that you have, and special ad audiences for special purpose advertisement that has a lot of rules assigned to it. But in this case, we're going to go saved audience. Boom. And we're going to name this audience Houston Food Truck. Okay. I can create a new one or I can bring in a custom audience that's already been created. Location. This is going to be key. You want to be able to choose people living or living in or recently in this location, people living in this location, people recently in this location, people traveling in this location. Okay? I want to use people living in it and people that are recently have been in this location because they might work there, they move around, etc. So I'm going to use the first one. Okay? You don't want to use the whole United States, obviously. So we're going to look at a location. And uh, before I do that, I was looking at potential food truck spots in Montrose. So I'm going to go to Google Maps, right? And I'm going to the Montrose area here in Houston. And I got this whole area right here, right? Let's say I want to use right here where all these. Let's say I'm parked right here on Westheimer Road by Rosie Cannonball. Okay? It's 1620 Westheimer Road. This is obviously not the place I'm going to be parked, but. We go to 1620 Westheimer Road, Houston, Texas, address, boom, and there it is. Right now, it's throwing a huge circumference, 10 miles. Maybe, you know what, I don't want to target the whole area because people that are super far, I'm going to do a three mile radius. I want to do a three mile radius, bro. Three miles. Okay. Enter. There we go. Boom. People in this three mile radius are going to see my ad. I don't want 18 year olds to see it. Let's say I want to start at 22. I don't want all the way up to 65. Let's say I feel that my audience is closer to the 60 range. Okay. All men and women. Let's say my menu targets in different languages, but I'm going to do all English and I want some Spanish speaking people too. Okay. All right. Detailed demographics, interest, behaviors. First thing I want people that are interested in food is so I'm going to look for foodies. It didn't find food, foodies. This thing's slow. More people that are interested in food. Boom. That's super broad. Look at right now. I have 371,000 to 437,500 people in this estimated audience size. Obviously food, right? I want people that like to dine out. I like people that like to dine out. I like people that, you know, 
if your mindset or self-development or if you're into investing, maybe you spend a little bit more money. So you're into investment banking. You know what I'm going to throw in there? Investment banking. Interest in business and industry. Right? Um, people that are adventurous. You know, not everybody likes to get out of a food truck. So, man, you know, maybe they like to adventure, adventure travel, adventure game. But they like adventure. Boom. Right now, I'm still at 379,000 and to 446,000 people. There's a lot of people in that little area. Okay? Other than that, what other demographics, what other things that I can choose? Maybe I want people that are baseball fans. I'm going to go Houston Astros. Right? And I want to include people that like the Texans. And that's pretty much it. So I have created an audience and I dropped the pin in the Westheimer Road area, three mile radius, right? I could increase it, decrease it. Like for example, if I change it to one mile, my amount of people changes to 60,400. So if I got 10% of that amount of people to visit the truck, that's 6,000 people in one day. There's no fucking way that it's going to be able to do that, right? So the more specific you are, the more targeted it is, the better it'll do. The more people will see it, etc. Maybe 60 years old is too far up there. Like, I need to go maybe down to 55, okay? 55, 22 to 55. English and Spanish speakers, right? Which in languages, you can choose all. It'll increase the whole, it should increase, right? So I'm not gonna choose any languages. And then detailed targeting. Maybe I want people that follow, that like um, Taco Bell, for example. If they like Taco Bell, they'll like my food. Let me see if it's, there it is, Taco Bell, boom. Or maybe they like chefs, like what's the chef's name? Um, Emerald. Emerald, Emerald, Emerald. Let me see if he shows up. Emerald Lagasse, boom. Right? 56,700 to 66,700 people. So I save this audience. Houston food truck audience. Houston food truck audience. I'm gonna name it specifically to the, uh, to the address so I remember. 1620. West timer. Bam. And create saved audience. And there it is. It's ready for use. I have the audience. Now let me show you very simply how you can create an ad to start targeting these people. Okay? I'm gonna go back to ads manager. Now this has changed in a bit. Here we go, create an ad. So we're going to create an ad. Auction type, reach and frequency. We're gonna leave it an auction type. We want traffic. We want people to see it. We want traffic. So we hit continue. And here's where you'll create the ad for your specific campaign, okay? And I was taught I could create an ad just using pictures and videos of my food, no ad copy. Right now I'm on a website that creates landing pages. It takes five minutes to create a landing page. It's called Phone Sites. If somebody wants the 14 day free trial, I'll hook you up, I'll drop it in the link. But basically you can create opt-in pages and they have templates already made. I'll show you some templates that they use and it's basically just a landing page and here's one for a restaurant so I know I already have it so I'm gonna go to my websites restaurants vouchers here we go these are all my 
landing pages. Landing pages that some have created a ton of leads, 544 leads, 753 leads, right? When you target correctly, this thing is powerful, okay? So this is the website. It's a buy one, one entree, get one entree, 50% off, okay? You have your name, your email, and your mobile phone number. And you click claim discount and people will be able to get in an email the 50% off coupon. How? Part of the follow-up, you create a follow-up via email and then three days, three minutes, as soon as they sign up, you send them an email and you can copy paste maybe a QR code into this follow-up email, right? Really is super simple to use. This is for Dallas Steakhouse Express. And over here, we can view it as if I was viewing it in the browser myself. And you can copy paste. You're gonna copy this website. This is the website for this, okay? Now, so we're gonna go back to the ad We'll come back to it in a minute, but we're gonna create a new ad. You can create a name for it, you can call it building, building my machine or whatever. You want traffic, campaign budget optimization. So your daily budget, you want to make sure this is on. You can create a daily budget. So let's say in this case, you're going to have $20 or you can create a lifetime budget. Say that you have a two week span and you want to spend $1,500 on it. You can create a lifetime budget or you can create a daily budget. Come in here and turn it off when it's ready. Okay. So you put daily budget, $20, campaign bid strategy, lowest cost available. Let's see what more options. Add running all the time. Okay. So you're going to click next. Now, what do you want? Where do you want to send these people once they have your info, once they see it? You want to send them to an app, Messenger, WhatsApp, phone call. In this case, we're going to use a website. Okay? For delivery, link clicks, you want... Link clicks is fine. You want, you want to optimize it for link clicks. You can schedule it, you can start it, so it'll start today. Then you can set an end date if you want to set an end date. I'm not going to. I'm not even going to save it. I'm just going to um, show you how to get to the last part of the creation. Okay, we're going to use an existing audience. And we're going to look for... Where's my food truck one? The one that I just created. Oh, my bad. I'm not creating a new one. I'm using an existing. Use a saved. Bam, Houston food truck. Here it is. Boom. Automatic placements. So if you want it to show up on Instagram, on Marketplace, since this one doesn't really... You want to choose manual if you want to have it on just Facebook, Audience Network, Instagram, Messenger. But I would choose automatic. Just let them show it everywhere. Okay? Now you can run this from the page from your business's Facebook page, which has to have um, the Ads Manager active on it. Okay? So once that's on there, right, you just selected the delivery, the audience, and you click next, then it's going to let you actually change the ad. So you want to change the name of the ad, the Facebook page that you're running it from, the Instagram account, create the ad. Do you want to use a single image or video? In this case, I would use a single image. Okay. Um, you can use car carousel.
and then it starts showing you over here the different previews of what it looks like okay single image or video if you do a single image just one image of like maybe your most fantastic dish or a video of you cooking or something like that a lot of these videos will get a ton of engagement so you can create some text right this is where you would create the media this is where you add the media you add the image you add the video you can create a video um, you want to have a header so there's a headline buy one get one free or are you hungry or have you tried the most amazing baked potato and you have a picture of a loaded baked potato um, something along those lines write a description maybe not make it too much and then over here you have a website that you can choose you choose so this is the website that you want them to do and this is where you would paste the phone sites and over here in the preview it'll show you what that looks like the buy one get one free okay that you if you want to display the link you can you can make it a call to action with an extension but 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 learn more you can make it it says learn more or get quote get offer when people click on it it'll send them to the website and then once they're on the website they'll provide the name their number and their email to get that coupon and you start building an audience well let's say you're going to throw an event and you want people to sign up and you have a eventbrite link or you want to send out an event like bring for people to sign up you know come to our friends and family giveaway where you get free meals you want to do a hundred free meals the first hundred people get free meals so you put that together here you put in the link but you start collecting people's data and then you start promoting let's say you just wanted people to know that you're open then the image would be maybe we're in Montrose come check us out open from 10 a.m. till we run out and so you put that in the image that you have you create an image you have to start building stock images you have to start creating that content don't be afraid to take pictures create content etc and then remember everything that you do here can be edited can be deleted can be redone so you can improve on it but the first thing you need to do is start using it because it works and so once that's all that done you hit publish boom and Facebook will publish it and then you start seeing the ad spend you come in I'm gonna come back back I'm going to close this, publish draft items, close. I want to close that because I want to come bring it back to here. So this campaign here, one, I need to delete this because we're not going to use it. I'm going to turn this one off. Okay. So as you can see here, we have 11 2021 ad set which got 18,752 clicks 223,000 people saw it it cost me 22 cents per click and we invested four thousand one hundred and twenty seven dollars into this campaign so that's basically it make sure that you are aware on how to do this if you need help we have a social media agency that can help you and um, it's one of the first things I would do. It is critical to generate sales. Your business will be depending on sales to survive. You want to increase cash flow? Sales. You want to increase revenues? Sales. You want to have more money in your bank account? Sales. You want to grow? Sales. You want to scale? Sales. 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 Marketing. All right. Appreciate everybody, and uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Follow us on YouTube, at Trailer King Builders, and uh, follow us on Instagram, Trailer King Builders, at Trailer King Builders. Follow us on Facebook, Trailer King Builders. Alrighty then, thank you very much. You all have an awesome day, and I'll catch you on the flip side.